Just need some space, some time to calm down. I'll make sure that he apologises to Freddy, all right? It'll take more than sorry to make this right. <sighs> we need to stop burying our head in the sand. Cat, we are so out of our depth right now. Why aren't you answering your phone? Sorry, Jean, I was about to come over, see how Freddy is. Well, he's shocked and upset and in a lot more pain than he's letting on. Listen, well, we're sorry, and I know Tommy's sorry. Right. And embarrassed as well. Though so I don't need to tell you that. You know exactly how that feels. This isn't the first time Tommy's lashed out, is it? OK, we need to stop lying, cos this ain't helping. Why didn't you tell us? Why do you think? It's not the sort of thing you go broadcasting, is it? You didn't mean it, all right? You felt awful after. How many times has it happened? We've both been on the receiving end of it. Okay, don't look at me like that. They've got a right to know. I mean, I'm not being funny, Cap, but you're lucky you don't need skin grafts. All I tried to do was take the ketchup off him. Oh? You had him on the floor. What are you saying, that we're bad parents? That we can't control our own kid? Yeah, but we can't, can we? Come on, Kate, you know as well as I do, we've tried. But he's stealing and he's, he's lashing out. Stacey's right, you know, he could have been a lot worse last night. Come up. Your family, we're not judging you. Why not? It's my fault. <laughs> Don't say that. You're a great mum. Yes. I mean, obviously, there's things we'd all do differently. Tommy was the perfect little boy before he found out about Michael. Full of love and cuddles. Maybe if I'd have been around more. Instead of letting Mitchell get his toxic claws into him. But at least he but... felt secure with Phil, yeah? Maybe I should have stayed with him. The truth is, when I look at him, I don't know who he is anymore. I'm scared to open my mouth. Well, that's half the problem, though, isn't it? Since he phoned the social. He did what? Yeah, he punched Cat, then he reported her for trying to defend herself. Maybe if I hadn't tried to convince him to cover it up, it might have been. She feels such a failure. I just want my little boy back. Have you actually sat him down and told him how serious all this is? You know, I thought we were getting through to him yesterday. It's going to take time. It's not going to change overnight, is it? It's got worse. I'm not being funny. What if that was a knife? He wouldn't. He was out of control. Do care Freddy's right. He needs some professional help. Mm. What, shrink? No, uh, shrink, I don't know. Just someone with experience. Someone knows how to deal with these problems. And where are we supposed to find the money for that, eh? I don't want anyone outside of this room knowing about this. I'm, I'm already on the social services radar. They think I can't cope. They're here to help, Kat. They're not the enemy. You back Tommy into a corner and he can say anything about us. You can't be held to ransom by a 13-year-old boy. That today's pearl of wisdom, is it, Jean? Eh? The other month you thought you should do a paper round or something. Now you think he needs locking up. No, I never said that. What happened to keeping it in the family, eh? Rallying round. Kat, come on, darling. We, you know, we've got to be honest here. We're well in over our heads, all right? I mean, what's next? He's not a monster, all right? But we've tried. And, and we try again and again and as many times as we have to. Us, his family. Underneath, he's just a hurt, scared little boy. He needs patience, love and understanding. No. 